A monk was walking alongside a stream when he saw a scorpion struggling in the water. Knowing that scorpions cannot swim, he quickly plunged into the water to rescue it. Carefully, he picked the scorpion up with his fingers and walked to the bank. Just when he was about to set the scorpion down, it turned and stung his hand. The monk, being in pain, drew his hand back and as a result the scorpion was flung back into the stream. When the monk realized what happened, he went back into the water and picked up the scorpion once again. But just as the monk was about to set the scorpion down, he was again stung on the hand by it. This scene repeated several times until the monk finally saved the scorpion. A little boy was playing by the stream when he witnessed this whole incident. Being confused, he asked the monk, Excuse me, why do you keep trying to save that scorpion? It stinks you every time you try to rescue it. The monk replied, Dear boy, just as it is the water's nature to make me wet, so it is the nature of the scorpion to sting. And just as it is the scorpion's nature to sting, it is my nature to save. We may come across those who harm and insult us due to their ignorance or lack of understanding, but we must never allow their actions to rob us of our duties and faith. In our lives, we encounter people who harm us, insult us, plot against us, whose actions seem calculated to thwart the successful achievement of our goals. Sometimes these acts are subtle. A friend, relative or colleague who unexpectedly betrays us or who we find has been surreptitiously speaking negatively about us behind our back. Slowly we find that our own actions, words and thoughts become driven by anger and pain. We find ourselves engaged in cunning thoughts of revenge. Before we realize it, we are injuring ourselves by allowing negative emotions dominate us. They insulted us or plotted against us. But we injure ourselves more deeply and more gravely by allowing our hearts and minds to darken. In the story, the monk maintained his compassion despite knowing that it would harm him. Similar to this, we may encounter someone in our lives who are continuously trying to bring us down with their criticism. At this point, you must ask yourself if losing your peace of mind is truly worth it for something you cannot change. By clinging to your compassionate nature, you will not only continue to reap the benefits of your own mental peace, but you may even bring about a small change in the nature of the person bothering you. Carry out a random act of kindness with no expectation of reward. Knowing that someone else might do the same for you one day.